How did it feel, though, seriously, to, to achieve that, to cross that moment, to go come into that harbour and see all your friends and family and all the boats, to know what, what you'd done? We'd pitched, I'd pictured it in my head, because mm. we've been planning this for three years, um, and I'd pictured that moment in my head. When I'm driving to work, I pictured it in my head, and it was a million times better. It was unbelievable. The people who were there, the super yachts blowing the horns, the reception that we got was just amazing. So this all started over a sort of glass of wine, didn't it? Mm. It was Francis's idea. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I kind of read a book years ago. There's lots of books about from people who've done the race before, and it just sowed a seed. And I think as your age kind of creeps up on you and you think you just want to make some memories, and I'd met these guys rowing, mm. and we've all just got on so well. We used to row every Saturday morning and then go for coffee and biscuits afterwards and just belly laugh, really, because there's great, great women. But it's one thing to be mates <laughs> and have a glass of wine. It's another thing to, to be in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean when stuff starts to go wrong. Yeah. Um, and, and you say there were no crosswords, you didn't fall out. We, 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 we didn't fall out. No, Helen and I, we, we can like have some crosswords. We're like an old married couple, Helen and I. We were always like the I. last word, so yeah. we would kind of go da-da-da-da. But um, nobody sulked, and we just used to put, say at the end of every sentence, if there was something, I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. So that kind of took <laughs> the beach out of it. You've left the hatch door open. Just, just saying. saying. <laughs> how, does it, how does it work, then? So there's somebody, because it's you, you, somebody's constantly rowing, am I right? So you're on, working on a rotation. We, we do two hours on, two hours off. So two people would go and have a kip and eat and whatever else you need to do and two people would be rowing but about so the longest sleep you'd get about an, an hour, hour and a half. half but towards the end we oh. lost our auto helper <laughs> steering and so we had to hand one person had to hand steer so you lost a rower and that's two pieces of string attached to the rudder mm -hmm. so you had to have one person steering so we did three hours on and one hour off during the daytime so that two people could still row and somebody could sit at the front and steer that was the last strings. thousand miles the last thousand it? miles wow. so you got less sleep then you got about 40 minutes but you got used oh, to it yeah you did actually the sleep deprivation wasn't a problem actually. We were, we we're looking in the papers because there was a bit of a uh, bit of trouble with the uh, bbc yesterday because uh, they i think they accidentally showed a a, a clip of uh, of you in your natural state yes. that you adopted yes. whilst you were rowing yes um and um and so people are as always, they're easily outraged, um, but um, but but you—that's the way you spent a lot of time. Yes, you, it was easier yes. not to have any clothes yeah. on. We were. Yeah. I mean, it's a very kind of wet environment, um, and you know, you're kind of on and off your seats all the time. So it is very common, you know, in the ocean rowing world to not wear anything when you're rowing. Um, and I just felt really bad for that editor yesterday. <laughs> that was my first thing. I just went to see him and said, look, don't worry, yeah. it's fine. Anybody can make a mistake. I'm cool with it. Don't... I just felt sorry for him. Yeah. Well, here it is now. No! <laughs> <laughs> you think are going to happen you were let down by as you said the, the steering yeah. equipment lots of bits of equipment the water thing broke at one point so you had to make your own fresh water it was the batteries actually we and that was probably our fault because we'd let them drain down too low so we didn't have enough power ah. to run the electronic the automatic water maker so we had to hand pump for mm. a week or two but one really. thing that was a real nightmare was flying fish oh, <laughs> oh the flying fish they liked you yeah in the right? middle of the night and you can't see them coming so you can see them skim across the water. They're like little green helicopters that go across the water in the night. They, they glow, but you don't see them come in and they just hit you in the face, in the stomach, and they hurt. <laughs> <laughs> They're really big. Yeah. What, um, what was the best moment? Because we were talking uh, during the break about uh, you're halfway across the Atlantic, the, the rescue boat could be a week away, so you are mm. totally, just the four of you, on your own out there. What's the best bit? I think for the me wildlife. the best way was the, was the yeah. wildlife really. It was seeing the mother whale with her calf. The calf came right up to the side of the boat. We could almost stroke her oh. and she kept just putting her head out of the water oh. and blowing. Yeah. And then mum was just in the background, wasn't she? Just watching her. She was massive. Yeah. And, and for about an hour actually they just circled, kept going and coming back. And then we saw a turtle day. and the stars. Gosh, mm. the stars are amazing. No I've light never pollution seen that at all. The moon was amazing. We saw yeah. lots of moon yeah. changes. Yeah. We called the moon our, our bedroom light because actually when oh. you went outside at night and the moon was out, it lit up the whole area and you could see everything. You didn't have to use your torches and things. And also because, you know, your mums and actually the moon played another role, didn't it? Because yeah. it made you think about, about your children. Yeah, there's, well, you know the book that you read to your kids and yeah. the rabbit book with how much I love you. And um, I used to read that with my kids all the time so I used to send a little good night to the moon 
and I knew that they were looking at the moon and yeah. obviously thinking was that, of me. Was that tough, being away from yeah. family? Yeah, it was really, really tough. It was mm. the hardest, hard, one of the hardest, hardest parts, parts yeah, yeah, was being away from the family. But they were great without us, actually. <laughs> 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 we were expecting them to collapse when we weren't there, but no, they were absolutely fantastic. They managed really well. Well, what, what an example to them yeah. as so well, now actually, you've, their um, mums to do this. Now you've done this. Uh, is there is there something else that you want to do as a, as a four or individually? Well, we, we just can't let the adventure stop because we've had the best time, the people we've met, the places we've been. But we're just trying to think, maybe something land-based next. Not, but as long. We're, not as long. Yeah, really? We're Two months yes. away is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a long time. time. Yeah. And, um, I mean, the media have been uh, so interested in yeah. your story. We saw you at the weekend on Saturday Night Takeaway. <laughs> yeah. I, think yeah. of this. Yeah. I know! <laughs> You're going to be on a, going yeah. back on another boat on the water again. Yeah. We did actually think when we saw that <laughs> that that must surely be the last thing you want to do. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Although this, this one will have flushing toilets. Yeah. That's true. So, you know, and you don't true. have to row. No. 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 We're, hoping, uh, we're missing it a little bit, aren't we? Well, like, yeah. yeah. The last few bit, days, it was one of those bittersweet moments. As the finish was getting closer, yeah. we appreciated it even more. The last yeah. week was the best week, I think. For so me. you've not had any pampering, you've had nothing like that, really. No. I mean, it's, no. you, you, you need a proper looking yeah. after. Yeah. 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 I reckon <laughs> we might be able to do something about that, because oh. we've got you this. Oh. This is a voucher oh. for you four ladies to go to Champneys and go and be properly oh. pampered oh. Oh. and just relax <laughs> and chill together. So, and plan oh, yes. your next adventure. Well, yes, we can. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, so that's for you. We are uh, we're so impressed and uh, and really what an incredible experience and it's lovely to have you here and uh, thank you ladies well done thank you. what a great achievement yeah well done